All right, so once you have your G29 set up and ready to go in the Logitech gaming software, you've ensured everything is working. It's now time to set up, uh, set up the wheel for one of the greatest sim racing games on the planet, and that is Assetto Corsa. Unfortunately, before you can start setting it up in Assetto Corsa, I would highly, highly recommend that you download Content Manager. Uh, now, Content Manager is a launcher for Assetto Corsa that makes it incredibly easy to mod the game, to install new cars, new tracks, check graphic settings, and of course, to set up uh, your game settings and the like as well. So let me just resize this window and bring it in to here. All right. So as you can see, uh, we've got a bunch of different settings here. We've got uh, a ton of different things that you can do. Let me just enlarge this so it's easier to see. All right. Now uh, to set up our G29, make sure it's connecting, uh, connected and showing up in uh, your uh, G Hub software. And then at that point, head over to settings, then click on Asset of Corsa, then click on controls. And in the input method, go ahead and select your wheel. You have gamepad, keyboard and mouse, make sure wheel is selected. At this point in time, your wheel should show up here. So you should be able to turn your steering wheel around. You should be able to work with your gas, the brake, the clutch, all of these different buttons should also be working. Uh, the rotary dial on mine seems to be broken because it doesn't respond very well, which is a bit of a loss, but that's okay. Uh, everything else seems to be working fine. We've got uh, our shifter buttons working. All of the other G buttons are also seemingly fine. So uh, we are good to go. All right. So uh, on this page, you have several different settings. So you've got access, which is your first page. And this is where you will be setting up your steering wheel. So uh, if this is not bound yet, click on steering. So click on this button and then just rotate your steering wheel. And you will see uh, as evident by this red dot in the middle that your steering wheel has been adjusted. And then you can go ahead and adjust uh, the degrees, uh, the scale, uh, of the steering lock and so on so for the filter and the speed sensitivity filter basically acts like a dead zone then the next thing are your throttle brakes and clutch so once again throttle click on this button and then press in your throttle and you're good to go as you can see by this red bar here now the problem with g29 pedals is that uh, sometimes your throttle may look like this so once you press the throttle this goes all the way down so make sure you check this inward box to get your throttle working the right way. You follow the same steps for brakes, for clutch. The G29 does not have a handbrake. For this, you will require an external uh, MIDI handbrake or uh, something with a controller that works like an actual handbrake. Since I don't have it, this one is left unsigned. All right, so let's next, let's move on to the buttons section. And this is where you will be setting up all of your different buttons. So uh, as you can see, you can have the option to combine it with the keyboards and then you have your shifters. So next gear and previous gear, these I have bound to my paddles. So the next gear is the right pedal. The previous gear is the left pedal. And then uh, you also have the option of uh, setting up your gear shifter. The Logitech G29 does have an external edge shifter that you can buy separately and use it with your wheels. Uh, once you have it, you can uh, go to each individual gear and click and assign all of these individual gears to here and that will set up your uh, edge shifter. After that, you've got a bunch of different options. So you've got brake balance, you've got MG UK, you've got your miscellaneous like handbrake, headlights, uh, flashlights. This is where you can set a button for the handbrake if you just want to use it uh, like that. You've got your turbo options, your brake balance, traction control, ABS, engine braking. Uh, you've got how to adjust your view and a bunch of other things. Then we move on to system. Uh, this I would recommend leaving uh, mostly our to default settings unless you know what you're doing and you want to work with a particular set of options. So uh, those settings are all detailed here. Then there is patch. Uh, once again, leave this to default. There's not very much you need to change here, but you've got other stuff like uh, left turn signals, right turn signals, hazard, um, toggle a shifter next gear previous gear so on and so forth these are just redundant controls and then finally we have force feedback now this is one of the more important settings in uh, content manager for a set of courses that you need to be doing because this 
controls how you get force feedback through the wheel you may want to experiment with these and find a setting that works for you these happen to work for me i like this better but i'm still in the phase of always tuning my settings to in order to get the most feed force feedback from the wheel uh, this is a gear driven wheel which means force feedback is going to be very blocky you're going to experience a lot of uh, uh, cuts and chops in the force feedback so for that uh, gain is basically the sensitivity so i've set this to 110 because 100 was not quite enough you might want to up this um invert force feedback leave that unchecked filter drop it to zero and minimum force should be five percent of the total wheel force then you've got some effects you can drop them down to all zero they just effects for how when your car goes over a particular thing you want to feel that effect i've dropped road down to zero because uh, well uh, i'm already getting the fear force feedback from the road from the gain so i don't need it curb i need a little bit uh, slip effect i need a little bit and abs i usually drive with abs uh, disabled so i don't really need this in here uh, then uh, we've got uh, some miscellaneous options so check the enhanced understeer effect this is more of a personal preference thing if you want to use it you can go ahead with that and then all of these settings i recommend that you leave at their defaults i don't find them contributing anything to sort of the force feedback situation at least on the g29 uh, do keep in mind these settings are extremely specific to the g29 if you have another wheel and you use these settings you may actually end up getting a worse experience than the default one so make sure that you adjust these based on your preference and on your specific wheels and um, that's that those are the best settings that i found for g29 when using assetto corsa if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can be made for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candido technology follow us on social media and if these videos don't help you out as much and if you want a more customized or a more personalized solution to your problems do consider getting membership that's it for today and we'll see you in the next video